Hello, and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Christeter. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And today I want to talk to you about how to route audio from any one software to another, specifically in this situation, how to route audio from, say, your web browser into live so you can sample anything you want on the internet. But keep in mind, this will work for anything. So you could sample video games, or you could sample your spreadsheet, or whatever you want. So before we dive into that, I do want to let you know that if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I greatly appreciate it. So you're in a situation where you want to route audio from one place to another and basically sample things into live. And there is a very easy way to do this. Uh, and it will be slightly different depending if you are on a PC or on a Mac. I'm going to go over the Mac solution first because that's what I'm on. And I'll give you some, a list of some PC alternatives as well. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download a software called Black Hole. Uh, this is a free software. I'll put the link below. I uh, just put in your email address. It'll send it to you. It works great. And Black Hole essentially is an imaginary space that you can send audio to and from. So you can run audio out of your computer to Black Hole instead of going to your speakers and then go from Black Hole into Live or any other audio software to resample it. Uh, Black Hole is kind of the spiritual successor to Soundflower, which was has been around for a long time and is no longer being developed. Uh, and kind of, it's kind of still works, but kind of doesn't. Uh, Black Hole works great. Been using it for a while. It's awesome. So download this. It's free. Go ahead and install it. So once you have installed it, you're going to go over to your audio outputs up here. And you can see we have Black Hole 2 channel and Black Hole 16 channel as options. You can use either one you want. It doesn't really matter in this situation. I'm already using the two channel for my streaming audio route up setup. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 16 channel just so I don't get signals crossed or anything like that. So now when I play audio from my computer, instead of going to my speakers, it's going to black hole. Then what I can do is in my audio preferences in live. So command comma gets us here. I'm going to, going to go to our audio tab. And under the audio input device, we also have the option for either black hole two channel or black hole 16 channel. So I'm going to select the 16 channel. And now the audio that's coming out of my computer is going to black hole and then into live. So now that I've done that, if I were to record enable this uh, and start sending this audio, it would start receiving it and then I could resample it. So let's try this out real quick. I'm going to do this on one of my own videos uh, just to see how this works. Uh, so this is a video I released the other week and uh, I'm just going to play here and you're going to see the audio coming into live like that. I haven't really done much here. It's just how live's that's working. We can see it's coming in here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and record enable it. And just to try this out, uh, it starts out. So if I am in a situation where I want to have both reverb and delay at the same time, I could turn both of these up. Boom. Then I just resampled directly off of YouTube right here. Like I said, this will work for any software you want. So it could be video games, it could be anything. Uh, so that's kind of the idea here. Real simple. Route your audio to imaginary space, route from the imaginary space back into live. Works great. One other thing I do want to mention is that I'm not a copyright lawyer. However, most content you will find online is copyright. It's owned by somebody. So uh, I'll let you find, talk to other people about copyright law, the people who know more than I do. I uh, just want to let you know that don't be an idiot. Don't like sample a bunch of copyrighted stuff and then like release it in a track and then get sued for it. So just because you can sample anything on the internet, it uh, doesn't mean you have the rights or you should be sampling anything on the internet, just as, as a little warning there. On top of that, if you are using a PC, uh, I have not tried this on PC recently, but I just found a list of alternatives that you can try out for yourself. So there's the Jack Audio Connection Kit. There is the VB uh, Audio Voice Meter, um, VB Audio Virtual Cable, Virtual Audio Cable. There's a few like different options here that basically do the same thing. They allow you to route audio internally inside your computer. If you are trying this on a PC and you have found a solution that works really well for you, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, I've tried a few of these years ago, but I have not tried them recently, just so I don't know if they still work, what works, what doesn't work. So let me know if you are a PC user. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that is useful to you. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Um, yeah, sample anything you want. Have fun with it. It's a really cool way. It's just to get audio from one place to another. Um, try it out. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below, and I will see you again in another video. Thanks for watching.